Summer is just around the corner, and skate parks like this one will soon be filled with people doing extreme sports like bike riding, skateboarding, and rollerblading. We sat down with these extremists to get their thoughts. I started skating, I was around maybe 15 years old, but uh, nothing real major until around 16. I started getting a little more serious about it. Well, I, I live in Beach City, so sometimes we skate around town, but uh, nothing real big, but I usually go to the uh, New Philly Skate Park. Yeah, I'm currently injured right now with a broken collarbone. Oh, I was just I was just going down this really big hill in uh, by the Bolivar Dam and started getting speed wobbles and I just tried to jump off and try to at least save myself, but it didn't happen. Well, I like uh, Jason Adams and uh, Mike Vallely. I just like their style and uh, I ride black label boards and uh, Jessup grip tape, black label wheels, black bone bearings and. Uh, tensor trucks. I first started skating when I was like younger, but then I got serious into it when I was like 13, 14 years old and I started skating every day and then my heart got into it, so. I skate on Razor uh, Shima 2 skates. I go up to Joe's Skate Park in Green, um, Vertigo Skate Park up in Youngstown, and then we go to Akron. And I've been to Woodward, Pennsylvania a couple times in the summer. I was going up to grind a nine foot quarter pipe, and I was, there was like a hole on the top, and I didn't know it was there. And I put like Starling over, and I put my hand down, and my thumb got stuck in the hole, and my body kept going, and my thumb stayed in the hole, so it snapped out of place. My favorite is Fabiola De Silva because she's the best girl skater that there's ever been. I met her, I skated with her a couple times at Woodward and she's really down to earth. And um, Cesar Moore and Shane Yost, like the Australian skaters are really down to earth too because I got to skate with them a couple times. They're inspirational, so. Um, I started riding when I was 13 years old, mainly for uh, transportation reasons. Um, I'm a big uh, Terrible One fan. I like stand. I, I ride a standard uh, STA right now, but I'd like to get a Terrible One. I live in the Akron area, so I can, like ride a lot of street out there, and um, I'm pretty close to a couple skate parks in the area, like Joe Skate Park and uh, there's Scrape in Compley. So there's a lot of nice stuff. I've had a couple concussions, um, stitches once or twice, but nothing really bad, no, no broken bones. I like pretty much everybody on the Terrible One team. I'm a big, big uh, Van Homan fan. I like, you know, Joe Rich and a lot of the, the lesser known riders because I think they show a little bit more originality compared to the, the ones that get more of the media attention. We're here at Ernie's Bicycle Shop. This is where most of the people get their riding gear, skating gear, and their safety gear. We took this opportunity to talk to the owner himself, Ernie Lehman. At our Madison store, probably the most frequent bike rider that we get in here would be the, uh, in the 40 to 60 year old range. We have a lot of people that ride the trail, and that seems to be attracting a, lot, a little older age group. I gotta watch how I say that. Uh, that would be at our Madison store. We do have three other shops and they all have like a little different clientele. Uh, our New, Phil New Philadelphia shop, they attract a younger crowd. There's a lot more skateboarders and BMX riders going down there. And our Worcester shop is more like in the 20 and 30 year old range is their main customer because they get a lot of mountain bikers in that shop. Again, at our Madison shop, our most popular bike is what they call a comfort bike or a hybrid bike, and it's what uh, most people use on the trail. It's a bike that is designed with just that in mind comfort. You're sitting more upright, it has a real comfortable seat on it, has a spring uh, fork in it, so it's real comfortable, works very good on the trail. As far as skateboards go, uh, we sell a little bit of everything. There's a lot of different brands of skateboards. Uh, Element is one that's been real popular, Black Label. Uh, Alien Workshops, there's a lot of different ones, uh, but we sell skateboards, we sell trucks and t-shirts and helmets, 
downtown. A little bit of everything in skateboards. Uh, with every bicycle we sell, we recommend a helmet. That's the first thing that we ask the customer after they've purchased a bike is whether they have a helmet, and if not, if they would like to purchase one. It was probably about a 50% ratio of helmets to bike sales. Uh, some people already have helmets, but about half of the bikes we sell, people do buy helmets to go with them. As far as skateboards go, it's a lot lower ratio than that. Uh, probably 10% of the kids that buy skateboards will pick up a helmet at the same time. We carry uh, knee pads and elbow pads. Uh, we also carry a lot of lighting kits for bikes. A lot of people uh, are getting into riding at night, especially with the trail. So we have uh, headlight sets and tail lights. If you're just getting into bike riding, uh, number one again would be a helmet. Uh, we also recommend that you're able to change a flat tire out on the road. There's a lot of clothing that goes with cycling. People don't realize there's clothing that's specifically designed for bike riding. The jerseys and there's special shoes that you can get. So the bike is just the beginning. Once you get the bike, that's just the start and, uh, and you go from there. There are a lot of rules and regulations involved in extreme sports. Here's what the Masson Police Department had to say on the subject. The laws pertaining to bike riding and skateboarding in Maslin uh, detail uh, using uh, safety equipment, also uh, helmets, i.e. Uh, elbow pads uh, for small children are preferred. Uh, also, you must use the roadway. Uh, you must travel with traffic. Um, you must use turn signals and gestures in, in, in case of bicycles and skateboards. Uh, you are not allowed to skateboard on city uh, sidewalks. You're not allowed to bicycle on city sidewalks. Uh, those are infractions which can be uh, cited and it's a uh, minor misdemeanor traffic offense. I think the fines are up to maybe $95 at this, at this point in time uh, for an offense. Uh, repeated offenses, I, I believe it can escalate. Um, they're pretty serious about, about it because there has been a lot of injury um, and property damage downtown to both people and, uh, and property due to uh, accidents. Uh, I guess some you know, kids also wax the the sidewalks and stuff and you know the property owners don't like that so uh, there are city codes uh, you know, prohibiting skateboarding downtown. Uh, I believe that pertains to rollerblading. If it doesn't it, it will soon. I think there was an issue about that brought up at our last meeting. Well I hope you all learned about the risks and the safety that these sports involve. I'm Ben Strader from Assin Up Close. Back to you guys.